don't move. We'll be back to get you later. turn right. Open. They said they were. So what do you think, Lakeland? It's a happy birthday. This is part of his birthday present. We're going to Dinosaur Land. Just so you know, guys, you can pick up at Virginia Rest Areas and Welcome Center a dollar off now not that it's a lot it's only six dollars per adult but you can get a dollar off if you grab one of these i would like to point out how they feature over replicas from the past and actually you see it used to say 40 i think it's 50 now all right so we actually came in on that road um Dinosaur Land gift shop and parking only, no tractor trailers. Um, so yeah, let's check it out. Around it, exactly. <laughs> that is interesting. Like Tom said, while we move it, just asphalt around it. Also featuring a 20 foot King Kong, a 60 foot shark, and a 90 foot octopus. What do you think about that, Lakeland? All right, we gotta go get a picture inside the dinosaur mouth because. You can't really get in it. Oh, you can get behind it. Oh, uh, won't be. Uh, kind of glare, huh? Yeah, you'll have to come around to the front. That won't work. Wonder why they did that. I want you to notice that Lakeland has his uh, Mandalorian shirt on. Kind of looks like a little bit of a dinosaur. And what do you call that? A potato. a potato that's right he says it looks like a potato cool I found the shark all right well let's go in we have two different options here over here it's like we have a 60 foot shark and a 70 foot octopus but over here we can see a 60 foot shark and a 90 foot octopus <laughs> I want to see the 90 foot octopus so actually admission went up, um, it's now $8 for adults and 6 for kids and that coupon is only good for one person and so we enter right here. Wow, dinosaurs could do. What are these? They're yelling help. <laughs> you hear the kids? <laughs> Funny. You, need you need to get what? Tiny little dinosaur? Long, we were at a zoo. And we all got yeah, at the zoo. We need, to do that. need this one right here. That one's cool. We're gonna go to the dinosaur trail here. Entrance. Oh my gosh. We need a sweatshirt like that. Oh my. Scary. Not responsible for accidents. Well, let's hope none of the dinosaurs <laughs> have anything to say about that. Well, that's cute. <laughs> what are these like made out of? Fiberglass? Yeah, you can see the hairs. Yeah, you can see all the hairs. Look, Lakeland, your first dinosaur. It's a velociraptor. It's a what? Velociraptor. Yeah. Ooh, his tongue. You can tell this has been like recently painted. Ooh, the dinosaur. I mean, the octopus is a little creepy. Okay, we want to go out front here first. Oh, wow. 
So this is first view. So this was built in the mid 60s. You like the shark? She said you could climb inside the shark. Are you gonna climb inside? I'm gonna stand next to the shark so I can send a picture to Caroline. We're gonna go in the shark, by the way, because she said we could. We're gonna go in through his gill. Oh, oh! They painted a. What is this, Lakeland? What's that creature? <laughs> Where are you, Tom? Hello? Hi. Are you gonna come take a picture this way? <laughs> come down. Huh? Actually, get down here real quick. The floor has seen better, better days. Out we go. Okay. All right. What did you just notice, Lakeland? It's the same font. It's the same Disney font. It seems the octopus is after the shark. He's got his grips on him. Just gonna step over him for a second. Oh yeah, that's a great picture. Oh, watch out. These two are gonna fight. No telling what kind of prehistoric creatures you're gonna find here at Dino. No! <laughs> You awful creature, you! So this one, their long tail counteracted their long neck. They grew to about 75 feet long. He looks cute. So we're really glad the rain held off. We drove in like five hours of rain. It only stopped raining maybe about 50 minutes ago like 50 miles ago something about that um we were really paranoid that we weren't going to be able to come because we didn't want to come in the rain so we're really glad that it it held off for here kind of followed us and what's kind of ironic is we're not in florida we normally go to florida and you know florida yeah you're used to um hurricanes we didn't know we would have the after effects of a hurricane um all the way up here in northern virginia i don't think that's allowed yeah the, the lady told us specifically do not swing from tusk or necks Whoa. all right Mammoth became extinct over 10,000 years ago. That's quite a variety of places. Fossils in New York, Alaska, Texas, and Siberia. Well, before the continents drifted apart, oh, that was all boy, like here we the go. Same area. <laughs> okay. Remember, kids, do not climb on the animals. Spinosaurus. Lakeland says this is not the right size for Spinosaurus. What would be the right size for a Spinosaurus? <laughs> like that? Sure. They were carnivores that liked to eat fish and small animals. They had huge bony spines on their back and were 50 feet long and weighed two, I mean 20 tons. with this dinosaur this tree like the roots it kind of adds to the atmosphere of the dinosaurs don't you think Ooh, I see a spooky snake in the background this is kind of interesting the first fossil eggs were belonged to this reptile and it had like a parrot beak Ugh, looks just kind of like a giant a giant uh 
What word am I looking for? Iguana. Yeah. This dude, he regulated his body temperature through his like big spine attachment there. So this guy could walk on either two or four feet. For some reason, this guy just looks old. Don't you think, Lakeland? Definitely just kind of looks old. I love how they took advantage of like the natural environment by adding this guy here. He has a little elf ear. Who knew Stegosauruses had elf ears? Lakeland says the moose chops, moose chops here Mosh is moss chops. Mosh chops. <laughs> is wonky is his word. Wonky and missing some teethies. And Lakeland, what are you doing? Oh my god, there's so many crickets. Oh, there's lots of crickets under the frog. You can say these words and I can't. What is he? Velociraptor. Velociraptor. Yeah, it, it's hard to say these things. Um, late Cretaceous period, small, swift, very agile dinosaur, about so, six feet long. It was a meat eater with razor type teeth and long claws used for slashing and gripping its prey. Now he looks newer or redone, like some of the one other ones. Been, yeah, this one's one. definitely been redone, came in pieces, and he's different. He's like yeah, plastic. Yeah, like and glass. yeah, and the older There's ones there. Ones. Right. <laughs> Tom and Lakeland say this one looks like a gecko. Lakeland laughed. Tyrannosaurus. He was the tyrant of the dinosaurs. <laughs> he does like... His face looks so face. wide. Oh, it's backlit. Sorry, guys. Let's go this way. <gasps> Don't push me. I'm mocking the kids down there. Shame on me. <laughs> These are tongue twisters. Coelophysis. What's wrong with that? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> He's like, why do they look like that? <laughs> His face is cute. Okay, this is kind of sad and graphic. I don't know that I like this one. They're protecting their baby. No, they're not. They're gonna eat him. And they got blood spatter. They're not. See, they're protecting their baby. Lakeland says they're protecting the baby. Yeah, so this is the sad one over here. Oh my gosh, this is awful. Yeah, Tom's right. This is really sad because. This is a plant eater, Herbivore. and this one's attacking it like he has absolutely no problems. Um, ooh, they got a skin coming off. I'm glad I didn't live in the dinosaur times. That's sad. He took a chunk out of them there. Fortunately, the only way to get through is to go through their battle. Oh, there's another battle. This one's on its side. Oh, that is super sad. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. That's a little creepy. This kind of reminded me we haven't had lunch yet. Why would that remind you? This is cool. They actually had a contest to name this scene. The Conquering Carnivore. And Joey from Alexandria, Virginia in 03 won the contest. Can you do the monster mash? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Tom, you want to go do the monster mash? No, no, I don't. <laughs> oh, I know what's wrong with this one. He doesn't have any legs. Or tail. Or tail. Luckily, this one is all in one piece and has his tail and his legs. Well, duh. Good, good. 
this is one of the the subterranean dinosaurs and that's why you, you can't see all of its legs oh that's what it is yeah. is this not the flintstones dinosaur i'm pretty sure brachylosaurus comment below flintstones dinosaur all right Looks like they have a little bit of land to expand if they ever wanted to. They can put quite a few. Whole nother trail can go through there. Alright, we have another violent one. I know, it's not violent. It's educational. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Giant southern reptile. So this giant dinosaur had some fossils found in Argentina in 1993 with a six foot skull. Huh, stick your hand in his mouth. I was just admiring the uh, Cactosaurus over here. You just totally ignored my stick your hand in there. Cactosaurus. They even got the color right. Now stick your hand in there. Go ahead, he won't bite. Wow, you're so entertaining. I don't want to touch it. A thousand children have touched that in the last 46 hours. <laughs> Why 46? Why not 47? 48? No, 52! Wow. Originally, um, this was opened as a gift shop called Rebel Corner. The name was changed to Dinosaur Land in 67, even though it opened in 63. So he had admired um, Sidwell, uh, James Sidwell's dinosaur replica designs from the Field Museum of Natural History in Chicago. Um, so he contacted him to create sculptures for his gift shop. Um, and it started off with just five dinosaurs that were created with a wooden frames. So guess what, Lakeland? The um, woolly mammoth over there, when they first made it, originally had fur on it, and it actually had moving parts. Oh, really? Yeah, and it's sad that it's not like that anymore. Which one is this? The wool woolly mammoth. Ah. And here is your prehistoric trash can. Right here. By this guy. He actually seems just great to be a trash can guard. I, I like how this one is lifelike and realistic with the pond that it's floating in. I'm going to assume that it used to have water in it. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, which would have would have been really nice. It looks like they tried at some point, but it probably got like full of mosquitoes or something. Yeah. Okay, this one looks like a combination of a sloth and a parrot and an old man with a cane. Any other additions? Anyone? Or did I pretty well nail it there? Nope, you're good. You pretty well nailed it? Yeah, I think I pretty well nailed it. He's just missing his cane. Yeah. Oh no. Looks like this is what's left of his lunch. One lone feather. Over here, over here, over here. Uh oh. This one. This one is like an early ancestor of Gollum. That is Lord of the Rings? Yes. And that's all I got. <laughs> I'm lucky I know that part. We are now entering Triceratops Road. And of course you always have a cobra with the Triceratops because they go together. So this was the grandfather of dinosaurs and I could see that. He's he's looking quite, you know, arthritic. Is that a word? Arthritic? Yeah, arthritic. Look, another frog. I, I would just like to state for the record that we drove 
six hours or whatever it was to see fiberglass dinosaurs when we could have just gotten in the car in a month at Disney World and driven 20 minutes and seen probably just as many fiberglass dinosaurs there. But we've never seen these and what 16 year old boy doesn't want to go to dinosaur land? <laughs> like it's like, yeah, me. <laughs> well, they did say that the King Cobra was in the prehistoric period and not a lot of evolution. They pretty much stayed the same. Thank goodness they're not this big. So the praying mantis is supposed to be the highest evolved of all insects. Oh, she's found her bait. She's got him. Oh, this one needs to eat a little bit more. It's anorexic. But so cool. Blakeland, we've got one extra passenger. He came back with us, the Iguanodon. They're not gonna make it. They made it. You made it. I knew you would. Oh, he's got a little plane in his hand. Check it out. Whoa, dude. So did anyone catch my Starship Troopers reference with the praying mantis? I hope so. Ironic I mentioned sloth over there because this is a ground sloth. Okay, now what did you say? Its wing is its finger? Yeah. So like it has the normal fingers, but then the big long thing is another finger. Ah. I get it. So now. this one's been signed by Sam Sheldon. See what Lakeland's talking about? Got some fingers there and then a long one. Looks like you got some babies right there in its nest. Brontosaurus Flintstones. This was a very gentle, gentle creature. So what did you think? I thought it was a fun little uh, diversion here. Oh, definitely, definitely. A nice little break from driving. Found frog number three and we're calling it a wrap and even though they raised the price from six dollars to eight dollars probably back like in the 80s it's still worth it just came in the door frog number four all right now we got to take a look at here all right this is just the type of oddities and roadside attractions that i love okay now we're going on to have some lunch some late lunch or starving we're hoping to find something unusual some mom and pop thing not not a chain what did you think lakeland i liked yep i liked then take the first right now 340 is ahead of us here i forgot to mention i saw something in that bathroom i have not seen anywhere else and they had a sign that says, please do not flush mask. US 340. Why people are putting their face mask in the toilet, I have no clue. 